um, and I did attach a picture of these definitions along with this post. Um, but today is just really about reminding yourself of these different terms um, and then practicing identifying and draw these uh, using these Khan Academies. So the first thing is called a point. A point is just one dot. You always label it with a capital letter, like this is point A. Okay. The next thing is a line. Whenever you have two points, like say I had point A and point B, you can always draw a line through those two points. And lines go on and on forever in both directions. So we put arrows on both sides. The way you write these lines, uh, you would either, you list both of those points it goes through. So A, B, and you just draw the line above it like that. Or you can write it as B, A. Um, the next thing is a plane. So a plane, I always think of that as just kind of like a piece of paper that goes on and on and keeps on spreading out. It's like an eternal and an infinitely big piece of paper. So you can have a plane when you have three points. So if I have point A, point B, and point C. So a plane you imagine these three points just kind of suspended in air, you can rest a piece of paper across those three points. So I'm just gonna draw a plane, okay? So the way you label a plane is um, you just write those three points and they usually just write plane A, B, C. Um, the other way uh, you can actually refer to a line in a plane is sometimes they'll put like a little cursive letter next to it. So instead of like the capital A, B, C, they might put a little cursive L. So this line is also referred to as L. And the same with a plane. I could uh, put a little cursive R. So I can call this plane. Are. Okay, so those are the three most basic uh, geometric figures, and then you use those to create some other other things. So let's talk about a line segment. A line segment, like if you think of segment, segment is just like a part of a line. So if you look at that green line over here, it always goes through two points, A and B. But a line segment doesn't go on and on forever. It's just the distance between those two points. So there's no arrows. It's just a little, a little line. There. So how you write those is you write the two points and you just put a little line segment above it. Or you can write it in the other order. So that's one. And then uh, what these points at the end are called are end points. That's an end point and that's an end point. So if the line ends at a point and doesn't go on and on forever, we call it an end point. And then the last one I want to go over is a ray. So a ray is pretty similar to a line segment um, in a line. You have your two points, A and B, but there's always an end point. So in this case, let's have A be the end point and then it goes through B, and then it goes on and on forever. So a ray has a point that it ends at, and then it goes on and on forever in the other direction. When you are writing these points, you always start off with the end point. I can't see that that well. So I'm going to start off with the A, and then write the B, and then draw the picture of the ray. So 
where I am, you know, kind of how I'm drawing that symbol above it shows you what number, what letter it starts with and what letter the arrow goes through and goes on and on forever after it goes through that point. Okay, 